hi everyone today i am here by to talk about how to do the keyboard actions using web driver okay the so far we have seen about in our course team how to handle uh, the basic controls on the web application how to extract the test from the web application and as well as how to handle alerts and confirmation boxes okay so today i'm here by to talk about how to do the keyboard api team uh, this is something we are frequently using in our test cases okay but you know i'm lack of the use cases team but i'll show you here today how to do this keyboard actions using the web driver okay so let's say team my use case something you know is i just wanted to you know go into this google from this google i have an option called advanced search in this advanced search team here i have the multiple text boxes so my use case is team here i just wanted to do tab operation here if i say the tab here what will be happen it's moving to this next line you know next line something like this so i want to automate this test case team not at all automating the test case here i just want to move to the next element by using this keyboard api you might be have a question what is the point of going by using the keyboard api command okay so without having the even keyboard api also when you say driver dot find element property automatically that specific control will be getting highlighted so what is the point of going this keyboard api okay i'll come up with a small use case team here just try to understand here the small use case here is team i just wanted to download the java assume that i just want to download the java here the use case so when i say directly java download i will be head over to this website download free java software from this team i have a free java download option again so again start free download you might notice this team here directly i got a one pop up here directly i got a one pop up here okay so if assume that team this property window does not have any property by default i have a cancel option you might notice this by default my cursor focuses only on the cancel if i want to shift my focus to the save file i need to provide directly the command is driver dot find element property dot something save file but i don't have a property for the save file i just have a property for the cancel let's assume the use case i'm telling you that this assume the use case we have a property for only for the cancel option we don't have any property for the save file but we want to download a file if i want to download a file team then you can simply say tap then say enter option automatically the file will be downloaded so you just wanted to note him here if you have a use case we don't have a properties but using this keyboard api team still we can handle the controls okay so let me help you out team how can you do this you know keyboard api so you just wanted to you know take a one class here i am going to be taking my class is keyboard tab demo okay so i'm going to be creating the you know class team let me make a main function here first then i'm going to launch in the browser web driver driver equals to new firefox driver okay so let's import this packages import web driver and import firefox driver okay then after that team i'm just directly entering this advanced search url team i'm not at all doing any navigation here kind of any sort of you know entering the data on the google advanced search and clicking on this i'm not at all doing any operations team here i'm just directly entering this url okay advanced search url after this team what i want to do is i just wanted to say tab operation if i want to say tab operation team here first the command is driver dot find element by dot what was the property we have for the test box i just have a right click inspect element of the fire bug okay so dkg and we have a property called by of id id equals to dkg then say directly send keys within the send keys team you just apply a option called keys is the parameter team when you say keys when you say as long as you say dot team automatically whatever the actions we have in this keys all this you know shortcuts will be appear team here all the keyboard controls 
right from the text you know right from the escape to a parrot down where all the things okay so if i want to do this tab operation team you just say tab here t you will be automatically getting this one so now you might be have a question what is a keys so in the send keys team we are passing a simply keys parameter basically team keys is a concept of java it is a enum concept team enum is nothing but they have taken for the constants okay so in the send keys you need to just supply the keys parameter they might be somebody ask you about in the interview what is the keys if you say keys automatically you are getting all the constants values how can you getting it the basically keys is a kind of an enum team okay so driver dot find element by id dot add something like this and after that i'm going to be moving to the my next text my next text box as well so i just want to provide this one as well team okay i'm copying this okay so driver dot find element by dot id equals to again something this property dot send keys and i'm saying this team keys dot a tab okay sorry you don't want to pass any para attributes keys dot tab team so it's automatically doing this tab operation team here just for visibility purpose i'm stopping my execution for the four you know microseconds here let me execute it okay so let me run the program team this one okay it's launched in the browser but i have not at all documented for closing this uh, maximizing the browser let directly execute the program so it will be launch the browser team then directly doing a tab operation you might notice this so see here directly we got a focus to the next tab to you know another text box this is something we are achieving team by using the keyboard api within the send keys you need to supply the keys parameter okay you can do whatever you want team you can do the right arrow up arrow f1 from you know from f1 to any keyword you can press it now this is something we going to be using the keyboard api team i'll be give you one more example this is a realistic example team i have used in my application okay so i'll tell you my application use case team i'm not able to show you but i'll tell you my use case my use case is team in my application i have a two fields one is first name and last name if i want to add any record in my application i want to enter first name and last name if i enter first name and last name team then immediately i have an option called save option i have an option called save let me draw it so in my application team i have a add record option so this is what something assume that this is complete a screen inside the screen team here i have a two text boxes along with save and cancel button one of the text box is a first name and another text box is a last name okay it has a two options called save and cancel options team save and cancel this is what the buttons i have it okay let me draw it i'm telling you the use case now in my application i have a first name and last name so this is for the save and this is for the cancel cancel team okay so if i want to add a record that means that i need to enter my first name i need to enter my last name then click on the save option if i want to add a new record maybe you know my application is team i just wanted to you know fill this how many people something there is a requirement okay so this is a kind of an hr based application team hr based application i just wanted to document today how many people has joined in this company so if i want to you know enter that record i need to enter that employee first name or employee first name and then save the record this is what something i have to do a team i'm telling you the small use case now but this is you know actually have in my application so when i enter this first name and last name but for the first name and last name the requirement here is team first name field accepting only 30 characters the max count of the first name field is only 30 characters team when i manually enter this data on this first name field team once the count is reaching 30 it's simply stopping me allowing the data on the first name once the count is reached 30 team it's not at all allowing next level of characters it's simply stopping your execution you might be seeing you have a twitter you know account in the twitter the characters is we have a 140 if you are trying to enter more than 140 team once the count is reached 140 it's stopping you know simply stopping allowing you write the data right 
apply the same logic now in my even in my application also my first name is having you know 30 characters if i want to enter the 30 dream it's not at all allowing but when i am doing this copy and paste in my application when i am doing this i am enter something 50 characters on my notepad or i'm going to be enter only 10 characters in my first name field i'll be copy multiple times i'm pasting on this first name field now it is accepting so when i'm doing this copy and paste team it is accepting more than 30 but when normally when i enter the data team it is accepting only 30 if i'm doing copy and paste it is accepting more than 30 i am doing the copy and paste when i hit a save option but my developers made a one you know alert team here when i click on the save option it's not at all entering the data fine it's working fine i am trying to you know identify the bug team here just i'm going to be enter the 30 characters i'm going to be enter the 50 characters manually i'm not able to do it i come up with another use case another use case is i've just entered the 50 characters by doing somewhere entering the data and paste it on this field i just need to verify whether this is accepting the more than 30 characters or not so this is working as expected so when i click on the save option after copy and paste operation of 30 characters when i click on the save option team what happening is my developers are displaying one alert the alert is team first name field cannot be enter more than 30 characters so they are displaying an alert so i have an alert for this alert i have a test case in my test cases document now i want to automate the test case but test case steps are telling the team here you have to copy and paste the data on the first name using web driver can we directly do the copy and paste operations team directly we don't have any api for that you need to take the help of a keyboard api team by using keyboard api you can achieve these type of requirements copy and paste operations okay so let me tell you now how to do this so for time being team what i'm going to do is i'm just you know entering the data on this text box i'll be copy and I'll be pasting on multiple times on the text box team, second text box, only for our understanding purpose. Assume that my use case is different. If you have a same type of use cases in your application, apply the same logic. Property might be very, application might be very, but the concept is same team. Okay. So let's take any use case now. I'm going to be creating a new class team now. There's something class name is uh, copy and paste actions. okay so i'm going to creating a main function inside this main function again documenting web driver driver equals to new firefox driver okay so import this web driver and import the firefox driver okay team then directly enter this url team here uh, driver dot get and the url is team what was the url here how this is what my advanced search is the url perfect i entered it then i'm going to be you know enter the data on the first text box enter the data on the first text box let me maximize this so command driver dot find element just now we see we have an id but i'm not sure what was the id we have it but same case i'm entering something data called selenium let me get the first property here driver dot find element dkz copy now i enter a data i need to copy this data what are the data i entered copy the data and paste it on next text box i just wanted to show you here how to handle the data here how to copy the data for copying the data first we need to select it right team first if you want to call out copy the data first we need to select the data then copy it for selecting the data team the command is again the same driver dot find element by dot id id so this is what something i have it i'm copying team then i'm saying the send keys within the send keys team you can simply call keys dot control e the shortcut key team right we are using normally for selecting the data we are using control a you can directly document the same command team control within the quotes you need to apply this character control a this will be select the data team directly after selecting the data if you want to copy the data you can use simply do it, uh, directly control c team i'm selecting this data and i'm pasting it here control c now i want to paste the data team if i want to 
paste the data, get the second text box property, get the second text box property. Even if you don't have a properties as well, we can do the tab operation and we can iterate it. But I'm just taking the property team here. Driver dot find element by dot. Again, I have an ID here. Dot send keys. Within the send keys, you just apply here keys dot control plus v. Copy and paste it. And I'm doing this multiple times paste operation team here. Okay. It enters the data that will be copied. That will be pasted the multiple times team. Let's execute this program. Okay. Let's have a quick look team here. It will be enter the data, then copy the data team. See, it's got pasted multiple times on the text box. So this is how team, if you have any end copy paste operations using WebDriver, don't expect directly the command here. Within the send case, you need to take the help of a keyboard API help. By using the keyboard API, you can achieve the test cases. Not only copy and paste, not only the tabby mechanism team, you're not able to identify the property of this control, but you want to do some sort of operations. With the help of keyboard API, you can achieve it team. There is a plenty of, you know, use cases which are using keyboard API. Going forward, I'll explain you about in our coming classes team. Okay, so hope uh, this makes some sense team. I just explained on the Google, but typically I have faced this use case. I just explained you. Okay, so hope you have any type of use cases team. You can take this keyboard API help in your application and try the risk case. Okay, so just we discussed about today only the two use cases team, you know, keyboard API. In the coming class, I'm going to discuss about how to do this mouse over actions, extracting at a time multiple objects, those type of use cases I'm going to be discussing about in the coming classes team. Okay, hope you're clear team. Thank you. Thank you so much.